Nearly 4,000 children in the News 18 viewing area rely on a backpack program to fend off hunger. Joining us now to talk about the Food Finders Food Bank backpack program is Food Finders Executive Director Katie Bunder. Katie, thanks so much for coming in. Coming in. We mentioned that number 5,000. That's in the entire viewing area that are on backpack programs. But, and that seems staggering in its, uh, on its own, but that number is far larger in terms of people who really could use uh, some uh, nutritious food. That's right. In our 16 county service area, there are 30,000 children that are food insecure. What does that mean, food insecure versus, and, and if they're food insecure, why aren't they on a backpack program? Um, the food insecurity means that they don't always have access to nutritious food to, to meet their needs. And the reason that they're not all in the backpack program is, is really just that we can't afford to serve that many children. We are this week, uh, WLFI, as part of our Eye on Kids initiative for the entire year 2013, making it easy for people to donate to the backpack program. Those things are not cheap, are they? They're not. The food in the backpack costs us about $6 a week. And we use new food for children. You know, we, we rescue food and use that a lot for adults and for pantries. But for children that may have a compromised immune system, we only use new food in the backpack program. And you can do the math on that. Um, what do you spend a year just filling backpacks for kids uh, to take home yeah. with them on the weekend? It's nearly $800,000. Where does that funding come from? It comes from a patchwork quilt of funders. We have funding throughout the 16 counties. We have some United Way funding. We have churches and um, organizations, service organizations that give us funding. Now, some of us who, you know, are going to go home and have a nutritious meal tonight and feed our kids a nutritious meal really don't have any reference for, for, for what it means for a child to go a weekend with nothing to eat. Can you tell us kind of a typical story of some of these families? One of the most heartbreaking stories um, that we've been told is a child who took a, a paper bag full of wrappers to, to the school lunchroom every day and opened up the bag and took out the wrappers. He was 10 years old, but he knew that he didn't want anybody to know that he didn't have food. Um, now, uh, if we can show a list, we've got, we're partnering with four banks this week, Industrial Federal Credit Union, Lafayette Savings Bank, Old National Bank, or First Source Bank. Uh, and this uh, fundraiser goes through uh, this Friday. Obviously, the need is there 365 days a year. How can people donate? People can donate um, by going to the banks, as you just mentioned. They can donate by going to the Food Finders website and clicking on Donate Now. They can um, write us a check and put it in the mail. Our website has our mailing address as well. All right, we mentioned that number six dollars, but uh, any donation is any is a donation is donation. really appreciated because a hungry child is not a learning child. That's right. All right, Katie Bunder, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.